In this video, we'll demonstrate the operation instructions for the GF Central Plastics HVTT Repair Fitting and Peeling Toolkit. This repair fitting and toolkit has been designed for use to repair the Upanor Conventional Saddle Fusion High Volume Tapping T-Cap. It can be used in cases where the cap is damaged and cannot be tightened, or when replacement with an OEM cap is not possible. This cap repair system contains a tool specifically designed to remove the threads by peeling the tower of the HVTT to accept the Electrofusion HVTT repair fitting. The fitting is designed in a way that the gas in a pressurized system can be safely vented away from the Electrofusion zone of the fitting. Each kit comes complete with the following. Three HVTT repair fittings, one peeling tool, one multi-purpose wrench, two 4.7 by 4.0 pin adapters, and one test cap. Replacement parts can also be purchased separately. This demonstration is being conducted on the damaged cap of an Upanor brand high volume tapping tee fitting. The HVTT repair fitting and peeling toolkit works with two IPS outlet conventional HVTTs in multiple saddle sizes. We will also demonstrate the cleaning of the Upanor fitting, cap removal, and preparation of the existing coupon. Operation Instructions The following video will demonstrate the 10 steps of preparation and installation before fusing the HVTT repair fitting. We'll assume the excavation is complete and the damaged high-volume Upanor tapping tee is fully exposed. We'll also assume the main is in operation and that we're working in a gaseous atmosphere. As a result, some companies prescribe the use of full fire protective gear and air packs, shown in the photo here. Now let's go through each step in the installation process of the HVTT repair fitting using the peeling kit. 10 Steps of Preparation and Installation 1. Fittings, Tools, and Equipment Layout 2. Initial Cleaning of the Fitting 3. Preparation of the Punch Coupon 4. Expose punch threads. 5. Installation and use of the peeling tool. 6. Preparing and installation of the repair fitting. 7. Use of the test cap. 8. Insertion of the pin adapters. 9. Preparation of the repair fitting for fusion. And 10. Reinstallation of the completion plug and cap. Begin by laying out your tools and equipment on a clean piece of plyboard or heavy gauged plastic sheet. Do a quick inventory. Make sure everything you need is present, clean, and properly working. It's very important that all oils, glues, dirt, and sand be removed before the removal of the cap using water and a low lint cloth. It may also be necessary to use a strap wrench to remove the Upanor cap. After the cap is removed, the fitting is being cleaned with a 90% or greater pure isopropyl alcohol wipe. Your company may choose to use a clean cloth and approved concentration isopropyl alcohol or acetone. Be careful not to contact the alcohol wipe to areas that may contain contaminants. If the coupon in the punch has dropped and there's a large volume of gas escaping from the punch, the hole must be sealed before proceeding. The use of a rubber gasket number 12 sheet metal roofing screw installed with a magnetic nut driver has been found to work. Using the supplied multipurpose wrench, turn the punch counterclockwise three or four times. Back the cutter off to expose roughly three eighths or half inch, at most four threads. This will expose the threads on the punch for the peeling tool mounting. Do not remove the punch entirely. Verify that both the punch and HVTT tower are clean and free of heavy rust and oil. Clean with a wire brush and 90% or greater isopropyl alcohol if necessary. Install the peeling tool by turning the knob clockwise down onto the punch. It will bottom out at the top of the T. Pay attention that the punch does not screw down during this operation.
If needed, the provided multipurpose wrench can be used to hold the punch in place during installation. Once the peeling tool is installed, begin rotating the handles clockwise using a downward pressure. As the tool progresses, remove the plastic strings every couple of turns. Continue until the tool reaches the bottom stop and becomes noticeably more difficult to turn. After the tool bottoms out, remove any plastic strings and return the tool to the top of the fitting by turning the handle counterclockwise slowly. Do not quickly spin the handles. This could cause the tool to come off prematurely or jam the tool at the top, requiring additional tools to unjam for the next use. The punch should remain stationary during this operation. Now, remove the peeling tool by turning the knob on the top of the peeler counterclockwise. The punch should not turn out of the fitting during this operation. Remove the fitting from the bag and remove both the cap and plug. Using the multipurpose wrench, remove the completion plug by turning counterclockwise, placing the cap and completion plug in a clean area for future use. Clean the fitting and fusion areas using 90% or greater isopropyl alcohol. After the alcohol has evaporated, assemble the fitting by pushing down until it contacts the top of the punch. Once the fitting reaches the punch, start rotating the fitting clockwise until it threads onto the punch and stops. Typically, this will be the number of threads that were exposed when using the peeling tool. Ensure there is no gas pressure buildup in the fusion zone of the fitting during the fusion or cooling process. Methods for accomplishing this include using a squeeze-off tool or venting. Included in this kit is an HVTT test cap, which can be used as a vent cap during the electrofusion process to remove gas from the fusion area via a connected hose. After the fitting has been tested for gas pressure buildup, it's ready to be attached to the processor. If your processor has 4.0 millimeter pins, it will fit onto the repair fitting's terminal pins. If your processor uses 4.7 millimeter pins, as is typical for central plastics processors and fittings, you'll need the 4.7 millimeter to 4.0 millimeter adapters provided in your toolkit. Simply press these over the 4.7 millimeter tips of your lead, and you're ready to turn your attention to the processor. Attach leads to the fitting. The HVTT repair fitting is a barcode entry fitting, so there's no particular cable connection configuration required. Fuse the fitting using normal procedures and allow fusion to cool completely before reinstalling the completion plug and cap. Once the repair fitting is completely cool and ready for rough handling, reinstall the completion plug. First, by hand, being careful not to cross-thread. Finish installing using the multipurpose wrench until the plug is just below flush. Do not over-tighten the completion plug. Doing so will make it difficult to install the cap in the next step. Now, reinstall the cap by turning it clockwise by hand. Careful not to cross-thread. Finally, check for leaks to complete the repair. For information on the maintenance and repair of the equipment in the repair kit, refer to the HVTT Repair Fitting and Peeling Kit Manual that comes with each repair kit. Congratulations! You've completed training on the operation, installation, and care of the HVTT Repair Fitting and Peeling Toolkit.